Good morning and welcome to another video by Rush UK. You know something, this always happens, you know, when you're doing a video, you get a lot of notifications coming in. Uh, let me just clear that. Uh, sign for the SEISS grant to be made early. God, how long has that petition been going for? You know, by the time that, <laughs> that finishes, it'll be time for the grant anyway. Uh, let me delete that. So, uh, how many days is 12.70 equates to? Oh, okay, I'll answer that quickly, actually. Let me just delete it first. Um, it, it equals to 28 days. That's where you're going, holiday pay, 28 days. Uh, I remember doing an equation, actually, on this. Uh, it's 260 working days. Um, if you minus 12.7% out of that, 12.07, uh, which equates to 232 days. Two days, so... At 28, you get 260 days. So it's 28 days um, holiday pay Uber are giving you. Uh, okay, anyway, let's get on with this video. Um, there's been a lot of talk actually about facial recognition. Um, and we're all accustomed to it because Uber already has this in place. So when we uh, log on, um, well, not when we log on, uh, they have a identity, but now and then they tell you to take a picture of yourself and which you which is used to identify ourselves uh, Also as well um, When we actually log on every day uh, That's also used uh, To identify that we are using the mask This mask um, And you know, so it's already in use we're quite accustomed to it and it's well and good, I suppose. Uh, and we were also programmed to believe that, you know, this is done, the facial recognition in sacrifice of safety, you know, for ourselves and for the passengers also we carry. But we have a problem. And Microsoft is a problem because those, they are the people who actually supply the software Uber uses. But the problem is that Microsoft also admit that it is not 100% accurate. Okay. And, and another problem as well, because this local licensing authority of ours, TFL, whoever it is, uh, accept this as gospel, the results. So when Uber go running up to... Uh, say your local authority saying oh my god we have a mismatch here mr abdul isn't the one um, um matching the photo uber straight away logs you off because of the mismatch and not only that your licensing and authority of tfl will also revoke your license just on suspicion right and you know they don't do any investigation prior to suspending you or revoking your license and so that that is the actual problem i'll try and highlight here so what has been happening with it uh, what are we doing now the union adcu um, have identified uh, several cases and have raised concern uh, with microsoft and i think they are approaching them directly now i'm a member of ADCU and I, I, I said to you guys before you know you should also it doesn't have to be ADCU it could be any author uh, any union you want it to be um, you know something you could try this if you want just say you watch this channel and everything and see if they give you another couple of months extra free for the price of 12 so you might get 14 months you know try it on see if it works you know ring Yasin and say you know I've watched it Abdul's channel and uh, can I get if I give you 60 quid or whatever it is uh, for 12 months can I get it for 14 months and uh, it might work it might not you know but you know it's worth a try but anyway <laughs> I thought I'd just throw that in out of nowhere so what have they done now what they're saying ADC you mean in America uh, some police county or whatever have stopped using this because they also recognize that um, that it is not 100% accurate so, what do I believe? Now, I believe that there is a middle ground for this. Um, TFL are clueless, as usual. There's no change there. Because, firstly, they're not going to say no to Uber bringing a safety measure 
you know, in front of them, regardless of how accurate it is, you know, they don't do all that, you know, so they're not going to turn away safety. And we also know that Uber's marketing strategy is purely safety. So you got two and two there. So that's, that's here to stay. So what I'm saying, my rec uh, recommendation <clears throat> is that you still keep that facial recognition system in, but you only use it for queries. Microsoft needs to change its terms and condition with Uber on how it deals with or interprets its results. You know, it needs to say that that cannot be used on deactivating drivers or information cannot be given to third party, i.e. TFL. You know, I mean, I think the union should be pushing that more than just saying complete suspension of license. You know, I think there should be a more of a measured approach to this. Because facial recognition, okay, it's here to stay. Look, you know, uh, we should embrace it. But, you know, that system, facial recognition, shouldn't be used to discriminate or lose, you know, someone's livelihood. And you might get uh, Microsoft saying, oh, you know, well, it's 95% accurate and all that sort of thing. Well, yeah, I believe that. But what about the actual 5% that's going to lose their livelihood? because yours is only 95% and the people you supply to, they'll use that 5% and, you know what I mean, to get rid of someone's livelihood. You know, it, I just think it's, it's completely wrong. Anyway, um, just a quick thought and I'll speak to you guys very soon. Bye-bye now.